Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm Let's Play of, or tutorial playthrough rather. Um, I thought we would take a moment to assess our situation. Duffel bag's been destroyed, huh? That's uh, infuriating. So if you don't know uh, Cataclysm, in, in the bags tend to get hit the worst. Um, so if we look at our clothing, right now we're not wearing very good stuff. Uh, we have a, a bunch of leather gear, which is great. Motorcycle pants are pretty good. Um, le leather's pretty good. Uh, but we don't have armor. We're not wearing like proper armor. We're wearing clothing at this point. The only armor item we're wearing is the motorcycle pants because they have Kevlar um, and the hard hat because it's actually like proper head protection, although it's still not even the best. It's just what we have available. Uh, once you progress in the game, so zombies hit duffel bags. Like that's just, it happens. Uh, one of the reasons is because it's the outside layer. So it gets checked first. So like if you have a, a bag that you're wearing that has a high coverage value, um, this one has a 50% coverage value. What that means is that when we get hit in the torso, which is where this lives, um, and it's on the outermost layer, it has a 50% chance of being the first thing to absorb a blow when we get hit in combat. And so the higher your coverage, the more likely your duffel bag or whatever is going to get hit. And then add to that that even if it doesn't get hit, like you'll notice the damage a lot more. So like the, what are we wearing on our torso? Uh, just the tr trench coat. So we're gonna notice the bag getting hit more than a trench coat because the trench coat actually has like protection values. So if it gets hit, it has a chance of just absorbing that damage. Whereas the duffel bag has an, a, a protection of one. So pretty much any amount of damage would deal damage to this item. It's on the outside layer, it gets hit first. Once you have armor, you'll notice it even more. Everything will be perfectly repaired except for your duffel bag will be taking the most hits. So storage items in general tend to take a lot of damage. I don't think we can repair this. It's too damaged. Uh, if we check our sewing kit, what is our sewing up to? Tailoring is three. Uh, for the record, we talked about chitin armor previously. I believe you need about a five or six of chitin armor to get access to some of those recipes. One of them is in a book, but the rest are auto learned at like tailoring five and six. So we're not quite to where we could make chitin armor and we're probably not gonna get there anytime soon. Let's try to repair our duffel bag. I'm sure we can't. 4% and a 1% chance of completely destroying it. We'll go we'll give it a go. If it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. Uh, we actually managed to repair it, so we will be able to repair it to full. So that's nice. Uh, we got some good rolls there. But yeah, there uh, again, the more damaged your clothes, we might as well do everything while we're here. We don't have any fur patches. Actually, what does faux fur require? It requires faux fur, which is probably only on about three items in the entire game. So we're never going to be able to repair our trench coat. Um, Oh, wait, it's it's both. Maybe we can repair it with just cotton. Oh, good, okay, so we'll do this. We'll, we'll repair this while we have the opportunity. Yeah, because it's two materials, it can use either one, I guess. Uh, it's interesting because activating this specifically lists faux fur and fur, which I've never noticed in this list before, either because I've never had the item, so I never registered it in my brain or else this is a recent material that's been added to the game i don't think i've ever seen the faux fur stuff outside of a couple months ago so that might also be the case anyway let's repair what we can uh we don't have any leather we should probably butcher some stuff for leather we've been picking up a lot of leather we picked up the touring suit and the oh didn't we pick up um i thought we picked up like a gimp suit or something uh, let's just drop this touring suit, butcher this, gave us 13 leather patches. That's right, it was partially Nomex. I like to dump my random materials close to the fire, but not in a specific, like it doesn't really matter. Um, let's uh, repair what we can here. So we got Nomex, are these Nomex? No, they are Lycra. Repair our leather gloves, get everything nice and repaired. Again, this is general maintenance that you will have to do, might as well. Uh, general maintenance you'll have to do every time you come back to your base basically and you have some damage you might as well try to repair what you can uh, that way you're spreading it out it's not like you have to sit down and do one long bit of it how are we doing weapon wise we seem to have no spear that's interesting uh, yep just super damaged spears so we'll make some more spear stuff Sp uh, spike times three 
Same thing, as long as we're using flimsy items, we're going to have to occasionally do this. Why can't I make the fork spear? We're probably out of long poles again. So we'll go grab some of those. Uh, here's a tree. Smash. In fact, there's some right here. Just grab these long sticks. Pop back in the window. Why not? I assume that's what we needed. Spear. Uh, we're making the forked spear. Yes. Okay, great. We have a spear again. Uh, you know, we could go out and we could explore. Again, we're on day six. We should really be exploring and looting as much as possible. Building up those uh, food reserves, building up our miscellaneous materials that we're going to need over time. We did see a lot more of the city. Oh, that's right. We were pushing towards the arcade, which we did. We successfully got to the arcade and looted the machines. We were also going to check the electronics shop. I don't really feel like doing that, really, at the moment. Why don't we... We found an entrenching tool as well, so we could get towards the forge. Our fab is three... I really don't want to sit and read a bunch of books. Why don't we see about raising fab with crafting? Uh, anything easy? Wood smoother requires three planks. How big is a plank? Because a wood smoother is literally a handheld item that has a board on it, essentially. So why does that require three planks? That seems dumb to me. Um... Bows in the game recently got reworked. They're much, much more powerful than they used to. We could work towards doing a... Uh, oh, wait. I'm not even on that update. I'm still on an update from several weeks ago. several Probably about two months ago, honestly. Uh, because I've been waiting to update. Um, because I, I knew that they're working towards 0.E. So it's like nothing is really getting updated except for bug fixes and stuff. So it's not like there's new content to discuss. 12 planks. I mean, it's a step ladder, I guess. Crafting paddles. Carding paddles. That makes more sense. I was like, what are crafting paddles? Toothy wooden paddles used to clean fiber for use in textile production. That's cool. Uses too much splintered wood. Boat hulls, five planks. I mean, we could just do those things. Some of these things. Five planks, 20 nails. Long bow. Long sticks would be the limp. Well, we could use planks. Requires a lot of long strings takes 15 minutes maybe would raise our archery skill as well we'll try that we'll make five longbows it's gonna take a long time yes yeah, so i think we're just gonna raise our fab a little bit and try to get the forge put together we have enough right now that we could make these charcoal kiln uh in fact maybe we should just do that and then grind our skills that way we can have charcoal cooking while we're working up our fab to build the forge yes keep going using up a lot of long strings and we're failing a ton and we're losing a lot of progress every time we fail my god just finish it we were at 98 percent we're out of string we got to 96 percent okay this is um again the crafting system in cataclysm when you mess up and you lose materials one it happens way too frequently when you're um when you're bad, like when you're new to the game, you uh, have low skills, you will mess up a lot. Um, and then two, it's just kind of nonsensical that we, so we're making um, a bow, right? Well, it makes a little bit of sense that you might break a string uh, while you are putting together a bow. Maybe you overstretch the string and it breaks, but like, how did we lose like 30 planks from failing to craft? Like, it's just nonsense. Um, and I know I, you know, I recently got a comment that was like, Hey man, you bitch all the time. Uh, and it's like, yeah, okay. Um, but I do, I complain all the time. It's a, I mean, it's a nasty thing for you to say to me, but, um, you're not wrong, but there are also things that are valid to complain about like this. We failed many, many times and it's, fr fr it's frustrating and it makes me want to get profane because I hardly wanted to record anyway today and I'm already... Not having a great time in my life. Um, let's just pull this thing out of here. It's cool that they added wooden racks to the game. It was almost always wood um, metal racks. So it's kind of cool to see that they're um, shifting away from that a little bit. Anyway, we got some strings. We should be able to finish this. Although we've been failing a lot. Our fab went up to 70%. Our arch archery is at 0%. So I guess it being a secondary skill is pointless. Because it doesn't actually level the secondary skill. 
See if we can finish this. If not, I'm just going to burn it because I'm infuriated. Yes. Please just finish it. 99%. Thank you, God in heaven. So we only leveled fab to 81% and it took a really long time to do that. We do have longbows now, uh, which I guess is beneficial. It says arrows in parentheses, I guess just to let us know that <laughs> it's a bow that uses arrows. Um, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, requires strength five to fire. It has 10 bashing. So if we had to bash things with it, it deals 10 damage times 1.25. So it deals 12 damage, which is about uh, a 22 gun worth of damage. Problem is it is not a gun. So it fires much more like, uh, guns are much more, uh, well, I want to say intuitive, but I don't know that that's even true in the scheme of Cataclysm. Yeah, did not level our archery at all. A little silly. Why? Uh, wh what's the point of this having a secondary skill if it doesn't actually level up when you craft things using it? I don't really get that. Let's make the forge first, the charcoal kiln, rather, first. Why can't I make you? Uh, hammering and digging. Yeah, we have both of those inside. So let's grab our entrenching tool and we'll grab a hammer make ourselves a charcoal kiln still can't make it why oh it's blue i just couldn't really see it we'll build that over here why not ignore probably gonna have to ignore multiple no it's ignoring all of them well that's that's nice so this will take time, of course. We're setting up a, a kiln, basically building it out of stone. And what we'll do is put wood inside of this kiln, light it on fire, and then it will there will be a, a time period associated with how much wood we put in it. And it will, over time, convert that to charcoal. So if we look here, we examined the kiln using the E key. It says the kiln is empty. We can fill it with wood or bones and try again. Now it's worth noting that you can't fill it with tainted bones. Um, last I checked, it had to be one. You could not mix bone. So I haven't checked in a while. I, I don't. There, I don't see a lot of point in burning bones. But um, back in the day, if you tried to put tainted bones in with the wood, it wouldn't take it. It was a weird thing. I don't know how that works anymore. But we'll uh, definitely put some wood in here. Why don't we craft ourselves? You know what? The sun is going down. We're not going to be able to do this. Let's drop our tools we don't need. Uh, no, not the strings and stuff. Just the tools on this pile. Drop the strings and whatnot over here. Uh, and the nails. Anything else? No, we want all this. We don't really need to carry the bow with us. Let's um see if we can get a hand axe made or something. Axe. Really, we don't have axe. Oh, because our survival is zero, I guess, is one. Why don't we have any recipes for this? Okay. Um, man, so I guess we just keep grinding skills, huh? So we'll grind some more skills, then we'll go to bed. Uh, let's start the fire. Things aren't really going my way here. Let's um, P colon. Oh, my God. P colon. No, P colon. My God. Survival. Uh, anything, anything fast, really. Throwing sticks require planks. Yeah, let's make five throwing sticks. This should level us up. Ignore. Uh, survival is still one. Let's try that again. Dispose, store an inventory. Okay. Survival is now two. Do we have an axe recipe? Still no, huh? Hmm. I mean, we have a high fab. No, we have a three fab. It's not amazing. P, survival. Hmm. I think it's probably survival that we need to level. We make fire drills. They take five minutes. Requires scrap metal. Yeah, we have a lot of scrap metal. Kind of silly to me that you can take scrap metal. I mean, it's a hobo stove, so it's literally just metal that you're cooking in, I guess. We'll make like 10 of these. Dispose. This will take an hour. When this is done, if we level up or not, we'll go to bed after this because we don't want to stay up all night crafting. Yeah, coughing because we're near the fire. Store an inventory. Okay, did we level up? Survival to 50%. Okay, so we'll go ahead and drop this because we don't need 
10 hobo stoves in our inventory. Let's wield the spear just in case. Uh, drop the throwing sticks as well. Throwing sticks, if you don't know, they're just a low quality. It's a stick that you, you let's eat before we go to bed. Um, oh, you know what? We're a little injured as well. Why don't we make some more? Oh, I don't have any dirty water. Let's go get some dirty water. It's always something with Cataclysm. You know, you get used to having everything at your fingertips. And then you realize when you try to do something like, oh, well, we're out of water. Oh, well, we don't have the right skill level. Oh, well, you know, we failed to craft, so we need to go harvest more strings, stuff like that. Let's uh, drop the dirty water. Go ahead and make some bandages. Do, 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 do. Oh, we can make the welder now. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Uh, I'm not going to do that right this second. Uh, and our skills are too low, so we'll probably just fail it over and over and over. Which will make me want to scream. So we'll make some bandages. We'll make six of them. Dispose. Then we'll boil them. Make two of those. Dirty water, please. We'll apply some bandages to our wounds. We're not going to apply disinfectant. There's really no reason to do that. Boiled makeshift. Boiled makeshift. Uh, we'll do that one as well. There's really no reason to not apply these bandages because they're so easy to make. Lyle Darden, how are you doing health-wise? Pretty good. We'll go ahead and bandage his head again. Although, by the time he sleeps, it probably won't matter. But we do get experience for applying things. You'll see we got 6%. Um, I think we were at 0% a moment ago, and we got 6 from applying things to ourselves. Actually, we did get a level up from treating our own wounds, so that is good, although it's obviously much faster to read in that situation. So we did bandages. We want to eat something before we go to bed. Trying not to eat a ton of calories, so we'll just eat some carrots here um, to put something in our stomach. You know what? Eat a little bit of pickled herring. I don't remember the last time we, we ate, so we'll eat that. Uh, then we'll have something to drink to fill our stomach a little bit further. We should have clean water around here somewhere. Great. And we will go to sleep because there's no reason to be awake at this point. Go to sleep. Tomorrow we'll finish grinding our skills a little bit. Oh, 17 minutes in. Yeah, um, so again, just want to point out, I'm having a real bad time in my personal life. Uh combined with the coronavirus stuff that's going on. I'm just not doing very well mental health wise. So I've been really struggling. Um, I've been trying to, oh, I forgot to put on my noise canceling headgear. So we got woken up. Thankfully, we're still tired so we can go back to bed, but still irritating. Probably on the tool pile. Nope. Then wear the noise canceling headgear and we'll go to sleep again. Like uh, I'm really not feeling motivated to even record YouTube stuff, which is a real indicator to me that I'm not doing well because I really enjoy doing YouTube stuff. And the fact that I haven't been doing it for the last three or four days has been really, it's really telling about how I'm not doing well because I like doing YouTube. I like making content, even though a lot of people lately have been giving me some grief. Like I said, I just got a comment the other day that was like, hey, you make good content, but you you whine a lot. And I was like, that is not a nice thing to say. Did you think that that was a nice thing to say? Like you put LOL, does that does that take away that that's kind of a hurtful thing to say? But I like, you know, you play it off and you just make a joke about it, you know. Um, but it's, it's a little hurtful. And uh, I've been getting some pretty negative comments. Like that's not super negative. If you're listening to this and you're like, oh, I'm the guy who said he whines a lot. I'm not mad at you. Um, but there are other comments that I get that are way, way worse than that. That are actually bad comments where people are like, hey, you suck. Uh, or like, why, you know, this episode was uh, just really bad. And it's like, those are not helpful criticisms. Those are just mean things to say. Um, like when I canceled my RimWorld series like uh, two months ago, people were like, you should just kill yourself. And it's like, did you really think that that's a acceptable thing to say to a person because they stopped recording a series that you weren't even watching because I actually can see the numbers and I can tell that only about two people were watching it. And I got like uh, probably 11 comments that were like, man, you really suck. Why are you canceling your series? You should kill yourself. It's like, I mean, they didn't all say you should kill yourself, but like some of them did. And it's like, you weren't even watching the series. Why are you angry at me? You know, and why do you think it's acceptable to talk to people like that? 
It's the internet, I know, and I shouldn't care, but I do, and it's hurtful, you know. Uh, anyway, so it's the next day. I was just talking because we had time to kill with the sleeping. Let's, um, uh, let's put, let's, we still can't make an axe, really? I don't understand why we can't make an axe. I've never had this problem before. We're looking for quality tree cutting. Miscellaneous repair kit has the tree cutting ability and we can use it to repair wood items. That's really good. We have a wood saw. Apparently wood saws have tree cutting ability. It would be nice to have a miscellaneous repair kit. I'm hesitant to give up my only wood saw though. Tree cutting, cutting, fine cutting, wood sawing. Yeah, okay. Let's make a repair kit. Uh, our fab is better than it is required, so we're not at risk of failing because we would never do this if we were at risk of failing because if we lost the wood saw, I would lose my freaking mind. Um, so we have the, the repair kit, so what we should be able to do is come over here to a tree, activate the... These at least... Oh, that's right. They require... Should have kept it as the saw because the saw we can use for free, but the repair kit actually needs to be loaded with duct tape, although duct tape is super common these days. Uh, because of the junk drawers uh, that are much more common. So, re no, okay, get away, reload, ignore. You insert a cartridge into the Mossberg. No, that's not what I wanted to reload. Reload the repair kit. Great. Come out here, activate the repair kit. It will bring up a list of options, and we will chop uh, down a tree. Ignore. There are already some chopped down trees nearby we can take advantage of, but I already started, so we'll chop down a tree. It's gonna take some time. Then we get a prompt saying which direction would we like the tree to fall in. I'm gonna point it away from our shelter. If you collapse a tree onto a building, it will destroy some of the walls and things. So you really need to be mindful of cutting down trees near your base. So I'm gonna point away from us. And there we chop down. Now we have a stump uh, as well as some tree trunks. And unfortunately they don't connect so it just looks like three separate logs. That's what this is over here as well, is just a, a log, uh, a trunk of a tree. Then we will activate our repair kit. We will chop the tree uh, log into planks. No, tree into logs, my mistake. We'll activate this again. And again, it takes time to do this, it takes many hours to cut down a tree and harvest a tree, but it will give us logs, which are really pretty good as well as some long sticks really we only got two logs out of that that surprises me very much uh used to be you would get like six logs i don't know if that i mean honestly i don't pay much attention to it but that would have been years ago so we'll go ahead and dump those into our charcoal kiln and what we can do now is e examine the kiln nope that's the wrong tile and it will ask us do we want to fire the kiln we'll say yes and now the, the kiln is now lit. And you'll see it says it contains 22.5 liters of material and is ready to be fired. You fire up the charcoal kiln. Now, if we examine the kiln again, we get a message that says it will stop burning in about six hours. So in six hours, we will have the charcoal complete. And the reason we set up the kiln now is because we're gonna be grinding our skills. We're gonna be doing nothing today other than grinding skills. Maybe, you know what? We'll go out and gather more rocks for the forge. But we're not going to be doing anything of value, so we might as well have this working in the background for us. Let's go ahead and wield the home wrecker. We'll go up here and look for rocks, because I think we explored to the south mostly last time. Actually, we don't want to get super close to the front of the prison, so we'll duck down a little bit. Again, we're in the forest, so there's some wildlife that could potentially be out here that could cause us some trouble. That is a very big boulder we can't deal with. Um, but we'll just keep an eye out, and honestly, I don't think we're in danger of getting killed. Even if we came across a pack of wolves or something, I think we would be fine. Where, uh, man, where are all the boulders at? They're all big, and we can't smash these. We talked about this in a previous episode, can't, can't smash the large boulder. Uh, I don't see any rocks. I think you can also dig rubble for rocks, but I didn't bring our shovel with us, and I'm not even sure that still works. So don't quote me on that. Uh, some down here. We're getting pretty far away from our shelter, but I think we're fine. Go ahead and get your stamina back. 
Again, just looking for about 40 rocks here. Um, I thought I saw another boulder right here somewhere. I guess not. Rocks. Again, right around 40 is what we need. We do have a few extra at the base. So if we can't find precisely 40, if we can only get like 38, that would be fine. We're at 31. Let's get our stamina back. We'll hit one, one or two more here. And we'll head back to base. That should be plenty. But we'll gather up some more just in case we need a few in the future. Sharp rocks also have value. I believe they can be like napped into knives. So that's something. Uh, especially if you're doing an in the woods playthrough, a lot of people really like playing these low tech um, wilderness style playthroughs. I don't really get the appeal of that personally. I think it's fun for like the first three hours until you get a shelter set up and get some tools. After that, it becomes really, really, really boring because you can't loot, you can't kill. There really aren't very many zombies and stuff and it just gets old really fast. So now we have enough rocks to build the kill, the forge as well. And uh, let's go back to raising our fabrication. We're at 94%. So let's do a quick fab, P fab, uh, to level up the rest of the way. Something easy, preferably. Yeah, just make me a wood smoother. I bet one does it. So we'll just make one. Watches me craft. Uh, it has become trivial. So we are now fab four. Again, we need fab five to build the forge. Uh, I think at this point we, oh, we can make the armor kit. This is for vehicles, but it's the first chitin thing that we've seen that were, are makeable. So we're gonna stop crafting to raise fab because at this point, um, there's not a great option to do so quickly. You'll see most of these take 10 to 20 minutes per item and we would need to make a lot of items to level up. Uh, so what we're gonna do instead is just read a book so we can find something that raises our fab. Fab to five, fab to seven. They both take 30 minutes, neither of them are fun. So it doesn't really matter which one we read. So we'll just read the Bowyer's Buddy. Why not? Uh, read until you gain a level. Why is he not participating? Because he's not high enough level, maybe? I don't know why he's not participating. He was participating before. Ignore. And we're just going to level our fab so that we can construct a, a forge. Man, this is slow going. Uh, let's... Our focus is okay, but it's going to deteriorate over time. It says we're trending towards 100, but that's a crock. Uh, so let's try to boost our mood a little bit here. Pesto, sure, sounds delicious. Apple, sure. Uh, what is this? Pomegranate, great. I've never had a pomegranate. I've seen them. They look cool. Uh, their seeds are neat, but I don't think we actually... I don't think I've ever had them. So just going to eat some more items that will give us positive mood stuff come up here we'll have a swig of beer what do we have in the way of beer give me an american pale ale indian pale ale we'll get a little tipsy not a big deal um and so our focus is trending up to 124 at the moment and we could also put in our earbuds uh we're looking for the mp3 uh it is out so we're going to need to replace the battery we're going to unload the battery from the mp3 we're going to come over here to the battery pile drop the empty battery and reload it really with whatever we only have they're all empty we do we really only we have zero batteries oh why can't it use oh it's asking do i want to reload the battery no i want to reload the mp3 player yeah that makes more sense and we'll use a disposable because they're less valuable because they can't be recharged so we'll also put in our mp3 player that will also give us a positive to our mood for um, listening to music. We'll go back to reading. Yeah, my life is just not great right now. Uh, and I'm, I'm spinning out a little bit with coronavirus because uh, my work has basically said, hey, you're an independent contractor. Uh, you don't get time off. You don't get sick leave. If you get sick and you can't come to work, you have to find your own replacement. If you can't find a replacement, we're gonna find, we're gonna let you go. So basically, my work has said if you get sick, you're fired, uh, which is really terrible. And if they would fire me for that, I think like I'm not a litigious person, but I think if you fire me because I got sick with the coronavirus and couldn't come to work, I'm I'm gonna try to pull a lawsuit against you because they've 
I've worked for a lot of companies in my life and my current company has never, I've never been treated so poorly by a company before. They're very disrespectful. We really, honestly, we need to unionize, but no one has the, the gall to unionize. So it's like, they treat us like trash. They don't give us benefits. We don't get sick leave because they get to just say, hey, you're an independent contractor. So basically you're not our employee. You're your own employee. It's your responsibility to get real insurance and, and real benefits and stuff like that. So it's frustrating to, to deal with that stuff. I really just want to get to Fab Five. Can we do this? I, I, I don't want to talk about what's going on with me. I just want to get to Fab Five. We're only at 75%. It's so slow. I don't remember it being so slow. Anyway, uh, we're going to raise our Fab to Five. We're going to build the charcoal, the rock forge. This will enable us to make um proper armor once we get the books it's going to let us make our own tools so if we find that we're missing any particular tool we'll be able to craft it from scratch essentially we'll be able to make some higher tier weapons getting the welder which we also can craft at this point is a little bit less of a priority at the moment because i'm really focused in on getting the forge up and running but like we talked in a previous episode about multiple upgrade pads one of them is the welder. So like our next step for spears, we're gonna go to the steel spear, which requires the forge, which is a really solid spear that a lot of people use. Or we would jump to the pipe spear, which is the welder. Now, comparing the pipe spear to the steel spear, the steel spear is like considerably better. Um, but if you can't get the forge up and running and you can get a welder up and running, you would jump to the pipe spear, which is a significant improvement over what we're using right now. What we're using right now has 23 damage, can disarm enemies, which is never relevant. I don't even know why that is a technique in the game when it never comes up, but it has a high block ability. So 23 with a high block versus the pipe spear, which is 26 with a, uh, a impaling strike, which is a critical thing that happens occasionally. Only a medium block, but the damage increase is substantial, and it's not a flimsy weapon, so you don't have to constantly repair it the way you have to constantly repair the fork spear. The steel spear, even better, has the impaling strike and the medium block ability, but it deals 34 damage, most of which is pierce, so even later in the game, when you're trying to beat armor values and you're trying to have a high, significant one type of damage, it's pretty good. It also has a plus one to hit over the pipe spear. And it's also well made, which means it can withstand a lot of punishment, which means it's even more durable than the pipe spear, which is already more durable than the fork spear. So we're going to be jumping to the steel spear, probably. Um, and then later in the game, we would make things like the all pike, which we don't have the recipe for, or the halberd, uh, which we don't have a recipe for, or the naginata, which we don't have the recipe for. All of those are the high-tier reach weapons that a lot of people use. I personally use a warhammer, which we also don't have the recipe for. Um, a warhammer is like my go-to because I don't use spears anymore. But um, yeah, we'll be we'll be working with spears in this game. Anyway, we got to Fab Five, so we uh, when the daylight comes, we will be able to craft ourselves the charcoal uh, forge, which is great. We're at about 33 minutes. Let's um, we we'll eat and drink quick, and then we'll go to bed, uh, or rather, we'll end the episode. We'll just eat some of this stuff that's going to go bad in the near future. We did eat less calories today, so we should uh, that should work towards getting us where we want to be with our weight. Go ahead and drink some water. Uh, nope, I'm glad that they gave us that prompt. That prompt did not used to exist. If you press the button, you would automatically drink and get sick. So it looks like they added a prompt where if you accidentally drink dirty water, it will prompt you saying, are you sure you want to drink it? So no, I don't want to drink it. Thank you. That's a good catch, Cataclysm. And that's a really great quality of life because there have been times when I open the eat menu and I accidentally press the movement key instead of the arrows to move. And I'll press like two and it'll instant drink whatever's on two and it'll be dirty water or something. Um, and then I get food poisoning. So that's a really nice quality of life change. I didn't know that that was added. So that's cool. Uh, for now, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back with more Cataclysm tutorial content in the near future. We'll be setting up the forge and getting ourselves some forge tools in the near future. Um, but that's going to do it, and I'll see you next time.